A special election that took place 10 years ago earned South Carolina Senator Marlon Kimson a seat in the state legislature. News 2's Carolyn Murray spoke with Senator Kimson today asking why he is leaving District 42 to work for President Biden in the District of Columbia. My first job out of college was uh, being a retail lender for a bank. South Carolina Senator Marlon Kimson says college and career have prepared him to answer a call from President Biden. He will now serve on the advisory committee for trade policy and negotiations. I was a commercial lender uh, in Greenville, South Carolina before I went to law school. I think that that background, uh, at least early on in my career, uniquely prepares me uh, for entering into a world of trade and continuing with commerce. The senator will leave the South Carolina General Assembly to join a group of business executives, labor leaders, and policymakers who will observe and make recommendations on global commerce and trade. He says raising a family, working as a lawmaker and lawyer in Senate District 42 for the past 10 years make him uniquely qualified. Senate District 42 is the epicenter of commerce for the state of South Carolina. If you look at this district, we have a multinational company, Boeing, that sells planes all across the world. He also says years of relationship building with President Biden laid the groundwork for this new work. The White House uh, kept in contact. I'd made several uh, visits to the White House. Opportunities presented themselves to me. And uh, I thought, and along with the White House, thought that this would be a good fit. What do you consider to be your single greatest achievement as a member of this South Carolina legislature? Back during the uh, Walter Scott Jr. Um, tragedy, we were at a critical time in District 42. Senator Kimson said ensuring that the law enforcement officers would wear body cameras set a standard, not just for South Carolina, but police officers across the country. Nation's first mandate requirement of body-worn cameras in the nation. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done to make sure that the body camera law has teeth. The removal of the Confederate flag from the South Carolina State House after the atrocity at Mother Emanuel. I, of course, was one of the lead uh, uh, proponents of removing the flag and presenting the legal argument uh, to our body. Uh, and we were able to successfully remove the flag. South Carolina Senator Marlon Kimson says stepping away from the South Carolina Senate does not mean his public service to South Carolina ends. He says it actually becomes more important. So I'm very excited for Charleston, South Carolina and the state of South Carolina to have a seat in this August body. Will you seek elected office again at the state level or perhaps national level? I think this opportunity opens a number of doors. I'm keeping my options open. Reporting from Mount Pleasant, Carolyn Murray, Count on Two.